This is the chiller that's running that entire system in there. This is a five horsepower chiller that can handle up to 15 lights. This is a commercial grade unit. Uh, the guy that builds these for me builds restaurants, uh, chillers for Sonic Industries and Dairy Queen. These units are made to last. There's some of these running for 10 years. What's great about them is they actually have a cast iron pump and a insulated stainless steel reservoir built inside the units. Comes with a Copeland sc scroll compressor that's, uh, that's got a warranty of five years. This unit is so simple to install, you literally plug it in and you hook up your water lines. It's that simple. Couldn't be any easier. Now, this, this unit comes from three horsepower to 10 horsepower, but we actually have units all the way up to 25 horsepower. Anything smaller than a, uh, the three horsepower is gonna be our, our units here. These are also made to go outdoors. They can be window mounted or they can be used outside. These units are much less expensive than this bigger units, but they do not come with reservoirs and pumps. You would need to buy those separately and those would install uh, inside your garden uh, because your reservoir is chilled. You always want to keep it inside your garden. This bigger unit actually uses an insulated reservoir and you can also insulate your reservoir outside if need to. These units come with a Samsung compressor, digital temperature controller, and a one year warranty on parts. These units are heavy duty. The difference is between the chillers that are on our market now is their nutrient reservoir chillers or their aquarium chillers. They're not made for a constant load. These chillers are commercial grade and are made to remove heat out of the water that's constantly being applied by our lighting, our CO2 generators and so on. It's really important that you buy the right chiller. These chillers are the most energy efficient chillers you can buy. We guarantee it. These units put out over what they're rated for. This is a two ton unit, which is 24,000 BTUs, but this unit actually puts out 26,000 BTUs at 90 degrees. The difference is another two horsepower chillers, let's say a nutrient reservoir or an aquarium chiller, you're only getting about 70% of capacity out of it. And that's actually quite typical. These are the Ferraris of the chillers. These are gonna hold up for a long time and run our equipment great. We recommend that you use a large pump with these. These units and these systems do not run off of submersible pumps. You need an inline pump, a strong pump, like the ones up here. We carry our own line of pumps. These are Flowtech pumps made in the USA. They're cast iron, they're made to be used in line, and they are commercial grade pumps. These units, these pumps will last for years and years. There's some of these running for over 10 years. They're all made in the USA, and we carry the sizes from half horsepower all the way up to two horsepower. Usually for our systems, a half horsepower, one horsepower works great. Uh, we recommend using them with the smaller chillers and we also mount these inside of these bigger chillers. That's what's used for this, for this setup. We also ser carry some smaller submersible pumps for uh, 1,000 to 3,000 watt systems. But when you get into a uh, four light system, you really need to step up to a good pump. You wanna make sure you have proper flow through your chiller and through your manifolds. The chiller must have proper air, uh, water flow or it's not gonna work uh, as it should or it can freeze the coils because these things are so powerful that uh, and they chill the water so quickly uh, you really need to have a high uh, flow high pressure pump.